Now then, how are we doing? Uh, right, well we're expecting, <laughs> we're expecting some snow, apparently. Um, so the whole country's on alert to come to a standstill. So basically we're expecting about that much snow. Um, anyway, what I thought we would do is have a look at, um, obviously this is a UK spec tractor. Um, and several of my American viewers have asked about our hitch systems that we use. Um, if you look at people such as like Iowa Dairy Boys and um, Ryan on How Farms Work, you'll see their trailer hitch systems um, quite often are different to, to what we use. So we have a hook uh, which is uh, in the back of this uh, hitch and the whole thing lowers down so you can back up and pick up into the uh, the eye of the uh, hitch itself, the hitch ring on the trailer or the implement, whatever you've got. Uh, obviously the advantages of this are it's quite quick and easy, you know, um, alright you've still got to get out and put your, your pipes in and whatever, but you know, if you're hooking different tractors on to different implements or trailers, you haven't got to alter the height on a, on a jack to, you know, raise them or lower them. You can just go under, pick it up, and that's it, it locks up. <coughs> Obviously, as you know, this tractor, uh, we've done all mechanical stuff on the engine. Um, that was the first thing I did when I bought it, and because uh, obviously it wasn't a runner. Um, and so now we're going through everything else. So this is good because we haven't touched this since we've had the machine. Um, and it demonstrates what can lead to a lot of issues. All that muck and mould in the hill, that soil. Um, this is one of the lowest points on the tractor. You now if you're, you're uh, up to your guts, you know, through mud, it'll always drag in through here and it'll fill all these gaps and all up in here. And then what happens is that it tightens, because these are the, look, just so you know, these are the latches here. So, like I say, here you got those bits, here you got those, and so the whole thing comes up, hooks are back, hooks latches in, latches in and you've got the weight, and they're locked in, then nothing can happen. Got grease points on them, so you can keep this nice and free. Cable goes up into the cab, and you've just got a lever in the cab quite simple however if you don't grease these or this continually gets jammed up with soil and you know other crap uh, it puts a load of strain on it tightens everything else up there's no play in it at all so you're pulling on the lever and all you do is stretch the cable so you adjust the cable and do, <laughs> you just keep stretching it so it is essential to keep these clean. Um, that's not, you know, do it often, it's not a bad job to do. But like up here, it's absolutely that's what you got. So what I'll do, I'll dig that all out, and then when we're power washing everything else and steam cleaning. We'll, we'll do all this as well, you see. You've got these arms here, so when the, when your lift arms, uh, let me see these up there. When the lift arms go up, you've got these here, we'll pull on this, and they'll rise all the way up. You, you pull it all the way back, and it gets right to the top of its travel, so that's then push those parts right up here. You can then let the lever go, the hooks will go under, you let the weight off, let the arms back down, and it's no longer on these. And uh, these just then float, and uh, as the arms go up and down, they're just free floating basically. One thing, if you can notice on this, which I've just seen, again, talking about adjustment, you don't want all the strain, especially if you've got a, an implement or a trailer on here. Uh, when you try to unlatch it, you're going to lift the, the weight of the trailer. Has got to be lifted up to allow these hooks to come out. 
Well, these need to be equal. And if you look, this one seems, although it's you know loose enough, it seems that the weight is all on this one. Not by a lot, but in time, you know you're going to get excess play and wear on one side. So all that involves a nut down here, loosen that. And then you can adjust these and uh, adjust them accordingly so that they actually lift evenly and they're sharing the, sharing the load. So there we go. Another thing you need to look out for is where in the bottom here. Because where the ring on the trailer is and the hook, as it turns, as you, you, know, you turn the corner with your trailer, obviously there is an action there and it's, it's going to wear because there's friction. If you've got, other, just so you know, if you've got other implements, that require a, a standard fixed clevers type drawbar, you know, like that, with the pin go through. All you do is take out uh, these two pins, one here, one there. You can just push them up from underneath because they're not, they've got no R clips or anything, and there's no need to because once they're up, they can't actually travel up to hit the top of the frame. So pop the two pins out, you can just take this piece out, draw a bar in, and you can have it extended or shut up right tight, drop your pins in wherever and uh, you've, got the, you've got the clevis type mount which I would imagine in America and Canada you guys are a lot more familiar with. Right, let's have a little look and see if we can just show you this hooking up. Just so you can see, that's the, the hooks. I'm pulling the lever so that cable then is moving the hooks out of the way. But, uh, Okay, well here's a Bowser, and uh, just so you can see, because the you know the actual lowering and raising is done with the tractor with that pickup hitch, we don't tend to have um, a jack leg on the side that you you know wind up or down. We have a a foot or a shoe, so it's just lowered straight onto that. Because as I said, anything can hook up to it. It doesn't have to be at a specific height or be old. You know, have to uh, you don't have to be able to alter it. Uh, with a with a jack up or down because the hitch will come in and then as you say it'll come from here you back up to it it goes underneath through then the whole thing is lifted up clicks into place like we saw earlier and uh, then if you're on on the road a lot of people just leave it on but if you're going to be on sort of rough or or a wet ground where it could dig in you just take once it's up take this pin out you can hang it up on our bracket on the trailer. Right, here's the DTS that we filmed uh, early last year drilling in one of my earlier videos, if you look back at that. And again, this is on uh, on one of these uh, eyes, you know, pick up his ring, so they say the hook goes through. The other thing I want to do is, oh, I've been asked now, and it is countless times, have I got any stickers for the channel? And the answer is no, no I haven't. Um, but I think it's, you know, enough people have asked, I think it's time I, I sort some out. So, we're gonna go along the, I think the mud, mud and machines theme. And uh, I'm gonna have to try and get some designs up. What I'll probably do is I'll, I'll have a sort of play around the next sort of couple of weeks and get some designs together um, I'll do a video, put them up, and then you can all comment and whatever you want to do. We can do it on the, you know, the Facebook page and whatever, Instagram, you all comment on there. And, um, yeah, you know, let you guys decide. I'll, I'll put, say, maybe three designs up and you can decide which ones you, you know, like a bit of a vote over it. Anyway, that's what we'll do. Next thing will be, uh, probably be the, uh, test on the Nissan Navara for before pickup. So uh, stay tuned for that. But anyway, 
I would say we'll keep the channel growing now because we say we're, oh, the momentum is just crazy. Um, it's really good. I've got some fantastic viewers and the comments that are you know developing on each uh, each video brilliant you know so much to to learn and pick up from that so i'd like to keep that going so down to you guys really uh i'll do what i can but push the channel if you can tell other people about it tell them what we're up to and what it's all about and uh you know we want to make it grow so that's really good right then thank you all for watching Look after yourselves and mind how you go.